to all of you for being today in Paris in this fantastic meeting. We are discussing about inclusion, and this is the track one that we discuss with uh, our friend in Namibia that we have to thank the Minister of Namibia, but we have discussed at national levels with uh, young people, teachers, families. Why is it so important to speak about inclusion? Because to speak about inclusion means to speak about democracy, speak about the possibility for everybody to feel themselves part of society. For this reason, this action to favor, to guarantee inclusion is not just an act involving the school, but is involving all the part of society. We need, for sure, laws in every country that guarantee the rights, the right to be part of society, the right to be not only accepted in a school, but to be part of the educational community. It's necessary that government provide instrument to avoid what we can call educational poverty. Because you know, my friends, that educational poverty is the real key, is the real support of poverty, because it's generating sort of cumulative effect over time. Educational poverty, that means poverty, a poverty is creating new educational poverty, that means don't have the capacity, the skills to be recognized in the society, to have a job, to have the capacity to intervene in the debate, that means to have, not to have the capacity to use the words to affirm themselves and to be dependent from others that are speaking for you. No, I, on, I want to speak from myself. I want that everybody can speak using the proper words to express their own right to be part of society. For this reason, we have to invest more on teachers. And this is one of the crucial elements that we discuss in our document, the role of teachers. Teachers are not only some professional person able to transfer information, knowledge. The teacher is the adult of, of reference, is uh, somebody that is able to take the end of the pupil in their own life track. Of course, we need the capacity to have data information, to have the capacity to know in all the countries, in all the regions, which is the real situation, and to share information. But it's clear that we need also to guarantee the school are safe and are places where it's possible to have good nutrition and it's possible to have the condition to share hopes and to share experiment of participation. And finally, we need to create communities to experiment what we can call in Italy educational pact of community or educational alliances. It's different, the kind of word that we can use, but the concept is clear. We cannot leave alone the schools. We cannot leave alone the teachers. We have to create communities where all the part of society, government, local government, the associations, the volunteers, everybody has to take part of this idea that uh, allowing this inclusion means to strengthen democracy, means to strengthen 
the capacity of a country to be part of the world family. And this is important in this moment. This is important in this moment, after the pandemic, in this period of so strong political tension, in period of war, is necessary to reopen the possibility of a international dialogue, international cooperation. And for this reason, we have to restart from education. Education became a strong political issue. And for this reason, we have to start from the most delicate part of the story, that is inclusion. Inclusion means democracy. Inclusion means the capacity of the entire society to take responsibility for the future. This is the content of our document, and these are the arguments that we leave on the floor for the discussion among our young people. Thank you.